Of all my family's many ancestral manors, one stands out because of its statues that have a long history attached to each of them. Countless royalty and nobility members come to marvel at them, but there is one statue in particular that holds their curiosity. The common folks hold varying opinions about this statue. They like to believe in stories handed down throughout the ages without knowing their origins, but uh, I cannot blame them for their simplicity. The actual events took place long ago. At that time, my ancestors were still the great rulers of this land. However, a monster was running rampant upon their territory. It is actually quite a cliched story. A hero saved the people from this fire-breathing monster, and this hero was once the king's hand. I believe all of you are familiar with this esteemed position and title, Thus, I will not elaborate on it. Upon his appointment as the bishop, he led a crusade against the fire-breathing dragon, threatening the land, and finally captured the monster with a holy crucifix. Initially, it was his intention to seal the monster beneath the sacred church grounds, but the locals insisted on burning it to death. The fire lasted for three days and three nights, and none could gain any sleep for its heart-rending wail cut through the air, tearing the sky asunder and calling forth boundless dark clouds and lasting darkness. Instead of succumbing to the flames, the dragon raised its head high, so it was suggested to cut off its head and hang it on the church wall. Peace then seemed to be restored to the land, until, one night, a priest heard a sound coming from the church walls. A voice that was terrifying, yet all too familiar. Slowly, it said, You should not have trusted him so. <laughs> if you ever get the chance, perhaps you can go and touch its charming head. <laughs>